Hey guys, I'm back and today's video is going to be a products I've used up video. As you can see from the gigantic size of this bag, I've been hoarding trash for a hot minute. So, there's a lot of stuff in here so I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it otherwise this video is going to be eternal. Alrighty, so the first things I reached into the bag and grabbed were these two facial cleansers. Both of them are generic versions of a Cetaphil cleanser. This one was from CVS and it's the generic version of the original cleanser which is just like a regular clear kind of soap and a pump and it's for normal to oily skin and I did like it. And then I went out and decided that because I like this one I wanted to try their version for sensitive skin which is kind of, it has more like a of a milky consistency. It's not as soapy. It doesn't really lather up when you use it. I preferred the original. I guess I just I just like my cleansers to foam. This one worked just fine and I used it all up, but I liked this one better. Speaking of cleansers, I also have the Aveeno Positively Radiant Brightening Cleanser. It's supposed to help even skin tone and texture. I was not a fan of this one. I'm not going to be repurchasing it. I felt it was a little too drying for my skin. And I didn't really feel like it did all that much brightening and evening for me. I don't know. It might have, it might work wonderfully for other people, but it just it didn't didn't do anything for me, so I just I'm not going to repurchase it. More brightening cleansers. So this is from DDF and it's called the Brightening Cleanser basically. And I actually bought this at TJ Maxx for like $12.99. I do not know how much it normally retails for. I really did like it a lot. The only thing I didn't like is that it smells like licorice, but it does have uh, licorice root or something like that as an ingredient because that's supposed to help with e uh, like evening skin tone and brightening your skin. It did what it said it would do, and I would repurchase it, except that I really didn't like that licorice smell. It just, ugh. Another facial cleanser. This is the Yes to Grapefruit Correct and Refa Repair Daily Face Scrub by Yes to Carrots and loved it. I did feel like my skin looked brighter and more even and I just loved how it smelled. It smelled, I love citrus smells so this stuff was awesome and I love that you can find this at the drugstore. I also have a review on this on my blog and I'll link that below. Okay, the next items I want to talk about are dental care, and clearly they are two toothpaste that I've used up completely. The first one I really like a lot, it is the Sensodyne Pro Namel Gentle Whitening. My dentist recommended this because I do have sensitive teeth, and it works really well. Um, I feel like it cleans really well, I like that it has that foaming action, so I don't know, it just feels like it's getting into all the crevices in my teeth and really cleaning them out. And then the other one I tried was the new one, which is the Sensodyne Repair and Protect. Now this one I didn't like as much, and the reason I didn't like it was because the mintiness factor of it, I think it's peppermint, and it was too strong, and it actually made my teeth feel more sensitive when I'd use it, so the, tooth, the, the mintiness, the extra strong mintiness of the toothpaste kind of hurt my teeth a little bit so obviously I have sensitive teeth um, so I finished this one up and just went and bought Pronamel again because that's the one that I like. Alright next up in the bag are Gradual Tanners. This one is by Nivea and it is their Sunkissed Radiant Skin Gradual Tanner and Daily Lotion. I really love these because they are I like that the lotion is actually kind of lightweight. It's not as thick as the Jergens lotion. And I like that they give you a really nice natural color. I think that results wise, Nivea and Jergens give you something similar. I just, I, I use them both interchangeably. What I like about my Nivea ones is one, it's a lighter consistency. It's not as thick as the Jergens lotions. And it smells like, it has like a fruity scent instead of a floral scent. So I just, I like the fruity scent better that's all so I've got two I've got fair to medium here and medium to dark and I think that if I had the choice I would and I do have the choice um, I would go with the medium to dark better I just like that it gives me more color next up mo more moisturizer and I'm sure you recognize this because I did a review and I'll link it down in the information bar um, I do like this product I've actually gone through more than one bottle. The one thing that I don't like is how fast I go through it. If you use this every day, you'll go through it really, really fast. Probably like a couple weeks. But it's awesome because it does moisturize and it's lightweight so it dries really fast. 
Okay, more lotion. Obviously, I hydrate a lot. So this is the St. Ives Naturally Indulgent Body Lotion in the scent Coconut Milk and Orchid Extract. I love this scent. I love coconut smells because it reminds me of the beach, but what I love the most about this particular lotion with the coconut milk scent is that it's not overwhelmingly coconutty. Like, it's not in-your-face coconut, so it's easy to wear every day without, like, getting sick of it. The other thing I like is that it's nice and lightweight and I uh, it's cheap. That's another good thing. I like it because it's cheap. Let's uh, go through some of my hair care products that I ran out of. So this is my Pureology Shampoo, Essential Repair Shampoo. I love sulfate-free shampoos because I get keratin treatments done on my hair so I kind of have to use sulfate-free shampoo. Otherwise it just washes it right out of your hair and those treatments are not cheap. So. This is my high-end version of my favorite sulfate-free shampoo, and that's the Pureology brand. And I love the the one in the green bottle because it's really moisturizing, and as you may or may not know, I have dry hair, so this works really well. Now, when I've run out of high-end shampoo and don't really feel like paying, shelling out the money, I will go for the L'Oreal Ever cream ever pure the, their sulfate free line I like a lot of their different ones I've tried a lot of different ones but so far one of my favorites is this one and it's called the ever cream and it's in the gold bottle and the shampoo and conditioner and I think the reason I like this so much is one it's very hydrating it's for normal to dry hair and also it smells amazing it smells like caramel and it just smells delicious your hair smells delicious it's just it's wonderful it's an awesome smell if you go to Target or anywhere that they sell this just open it and smell it and you'll see what I'm talking about it smells like dessert more hair care so we have the it's a 10 miracle leave-in conditioner product and the generic version from Sally the miracle 7 which this one is the one with keratin and this is the original formula from it's a 10 both of these work awesomely I love this stuff the major difference that all the ingredients are exactly the same the main difference is this is I think like 20 21 dollars at Ulta and I think this costs like 13 dollars at Sally's so you save seven bucks and you get the same exact results love it right next up is sunscreen I have the Neutrogena Clear Face Breakout Free Liquid Lotion Sunblock and the Dermalogica Oil Free Matte SPF 30. Both of these do exactly what they say they will, which is to protect your skin from the sun while also keeping you from getting oily. So you do not have any excuse not to protect your skin because they make stuff now that will really work well for oily skin. Now, I have since repurchased the Neutrogena one because it's less expensive and more readily available than the Dermalogica, but they both work really well, so whichever you prefer, go for it. All right, the next item I wanna talk about is my Thayer's Witch Hazel Toner with Rose Petal and Aloe Vera. I love this stuff. It's incredibly gentle and it moisturizes while it's toning your skin. But the part that I love the most about it is that it worked really well for my combination skin because it would moisturize my dry areas, which is my forehead, and then my oilier areas, which are right here, would still get moisture and toned, but they wouldn't feel oily or extra oily as some moisturizing products can tend to make your skin feel when you have oiliness going on. Um, so I really love this. It was $7.99 when I bought it at Whole Foods. And I think it's regularly like $9.99 there. It's really, it's not an expensive item and it comes with 12 fluid ounces. So the, whoops, there's a generous amount of product in here. It smells wonderful and I love it. I would repurchase it. Another toner here going on, it is the Sephora Triple Action Cleansing Water. I actually have a review of this on my blog. This is how long this has been sitting in my, um, trash bag because I wrote a review on this forever ago and I finished this thing forever ago. I liked it just fine. I don't like it for use for removing my makeup but I did like it as a toner. It was gentle and it was moisturizing and it was a good toner. And What I really liked about this is that it's really gentle around your eyes. I was able to use this as an eye makeup remover and it would not be irritating. It was incredibly gentle. I just didn't like it as much for removing makeup because I felt like it, I don't know, I felt like I still had makeup ready residue 
I'm just good with good old fashioned washing your face. Next up are two products from Origins. One is one that I have repurchased multiple times because I love it and it is their Clean Energy Gentle Cleansing Oil. This stuff smells really good. It's got almost like a citrusy scent and it works really well at gently removing your makeup. And I know that oily oils to cleanse your face really scare people, but trust me, they will not make your face oilier. They actually do not irritate your skin so that your skin doesn't end up producing extra oil to compensate when you use those soaps that make your skin feel even that like dry out your skin. So I love this stuff. This is probably my second or third bottle that I've gone through and I will keep repurchasing it because it's awesome. The next Origins item is their Origins Perfect World SPF 15 BB Cream and I did not finish this. I got it in the color light and I just wasn't a fan. I didn't feel the coverage was that great and it just made me really oily. I did not like this at all so I'm tossing it even though I haven't used it all up. And then I have yet another Origins product in here, and this is the Origins Starting Over AG Racing Oil-Free Moisturizer. It takes me forever to go through these. I think I had this one for like six months before I actually went through the whole thing. And I really like it. It's very moisturizing, and I like to use it because it's a little bit of a heavier cream. I would wear it at night because I like to wear my heavier moisturizers in the evening, and then during the day I like something light. So love this stuff. It worked really well, it was very hydrating, and it didn't make my skin feel oily, and you didn't really need to use a whole lot of it, and that's why I, it took me forever to go through this. And then I also have one of my favorite shower gels, and this is the Rain Bath, a refreshing shower gel by Neutrogena. This stuff smells awesome. It's really hard to describe what it smells like, but I like it. I've always liked it. My mom bought it once when I was, I don't know, in grade school, and I've been obsessed with this scent scent ever since and as you can see there's still a little tiny bit at the bottom but I can't get to it so I just went ahead and opened up a new bottle. Okay so last three items we finally reached the bottom of the bag and one of them that is completely empty is my Sephora brand micro smooth foundation powder and I have basically scrubbed every bit that was left in here before I went out and bought another one. It is essentially a dupe for the MAC MSF powders that everybody loves, except a little bit cheaper. You can find it at Sephora. I use the color Light, which is number 15. Then this next one is a perfume, and this is the Pacifica Hawaiian Ruby Grapefruit Little Rollerball Perfume. I bought it at, I think I bought it at Whole Foods, and I think you can also still find it at Sephora. And you might even be able to find it at Target. Some Targets have them. This stuff smells awesome. It smells like grapefruit. I love the smell of citrus and it was awesome just to have this in my bag and apply it and go and just and smell good. But one word of caution, this stuff is glass. So don't drop it because I did that. I bought it and I dropped it this like the same day I bought it and had to go out and buy another one. All right and last but not least, the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Anti-Chip top coat. I do have a video review on this as well. This is the first bottle that I went through. I'm currently almost completely through a second bottle and I have a third one in my backup drawer waiting for me to use it up. Okay, that is it for my products I've used up video. Since it's the first one, I would love to hear your feedback on it. Did I talk about the products too much? Did I not tell you enough? Please let me know. Obviously, I tried to keep my commentary on the product short because there was a lot of stuff in there. Um, so next time, I'll try to make sure that the pile of products is a little bit smaller so that if you're looking for more information on the products I've used up, I have a little bit more time to talk about them. But otherwise, I'd love to hear what you have to say and until next time, bye!